good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's gonna be an exciting day. We have a lot of fun things. <coughs> I'm sorry about my voice, it's really early. First of all, we are doing our back to school shopping today, our school supply shopping, which if you're new here is sort of like a tradition for us. It's an annual thing we do to kick off back to school season. We do a back to school shopping vlog and a back to school I'm using the wrong brush <laughs> and a back to school shopping vlog. The haul will be up on Saturday. So you're watching this on a Wednesday. It has a giveaway in it. So stay tuned for that. Aside from that, one of my US packages just got in and we're gonna unbox it later. And I'm really excited because it has a lot of my makeup. We're just getting ready today, obviously. I have my glasses on. And I don't normally do my makeup with my glasses on, but I just need to make sure that it's in focus the whole time because the amount of times I've recorded unfocused footage, it's embarrassing. <laughs> so we're gonna keep our glasses on. We are going to Rockwell. I usually do, if you've been watching the back to school shopping vlogs, I usually do my back to school shopping in Shangri-La because that used to be the only place with a Muji and National Bookstore store, National Bookstore store, <laughs> because the one in Rockwell has been a kiosk for so long, but I messaged them yesterday and they said that their Muji is now a store. So we're going there instead, which I'm very happy about because no offense to all the Shangri-La fans there, but I don't like the layout of the mall. I think it's kind of confusing. Also, the lighting isn't that great for vlogging, you know, priorities. <laughs> and it's also for some reason like really hot there. So we're going to Rockwell. We're going to probably eat lunch first, maybe at Din Tai Fung because I'm going with my mom and that's like our favorite place to eat. And then I need to go to the Nespresso store to buy Nespresso pods because I recently got a Nespresso machine for coffee. Really good. And there's an espresso store next to Din Tai Fung. And we have to go to Muji, obviously, National Bookstore, maybe get some Pinkberry. <laughs> I love Pinkberry. And then get home do some unboxing and that's my day it sounds really exciting well for me it sounds exciting because my day my normal day just consists of me in bed or me at my desk studying also you guys i have like a mini rant about the philippines lighting so i've always seen like tiktoks talking about how bad the lighting in the philippines is and i never really like thought about it much until yesterday i was color grading my study routine video and i was getting so annoyed because the lighting was so not cute it was really harsh and the tone was really bad and then i watched emma chamberlain's vlog and i was like how is her lighting just so perfect like it looks so clean it just looks very fresh and then i watched alicia's vlog and I was like, girl, her lighting's amazing too. And that's when I realized it's the Philippines. Our lighting is just way too harsh here. It doesn't look cute. It's not diffused. It's not diffused. And I think it's because we're at the equator. So the light hits us directly. That's why it's really harsh compared to the US because they're higher up. So it's a little bit more diffused. That was either spot on and it's an actual thing that I just wasn't aware of or it was really dumb. Either way. That was our thought experiment for today. <laughs> it's just turning into a Chica session. I've been really into Hamilton. I watched Jimmy Fallon's latest episode. He had Lin-Manuel over and they sang You'll Be Back from Hamilton, but they changed the lyrics to talk about how Broadway's back. As I was watching it, I was like, what song is that? Because it was like da -da 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 -da, that part. And I was like, I know that song. Where is that from? I literally searched up on Google. Da 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 da, ya 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 ya, Broadway. And then You'll Be Back came up. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot how much I love this song. And then I just started playing Hamilton songs. Literally last night, I was re-memorizing Satisfied and Helpless, which are my two favorite Hamilton songs. So yeah, that was me last night and this morning. I was like rapping to Satisfied. So right now I'm literally just listening to Hamilton, Fearless, and Sour. Also, by the way, my Sour merch, well, I just got a cassette tape, is in that US package, so I'm very excited. We're gonna apply more lip balm. This is the Cherry Balm.com, and I love it because it gives a little natural tint. We love. Anyways, I think this is our look for today and we're gonna go. See you when we're at Rockwell. Focus. Okay, we are here in Rockwell and we're in Din Tai Fung. I'm wearing a mic, so hopefully the audio is okay because all my like back to school shopping vlogs, the audio has been terrible. So hopefully, 
the mic fixes that. So we're here having lunch because it is 11 11 and i'm hungry and all i've had today is coffee and we need energy to actually go shopping so we're just waiting for food i'm very excited here's my mom <laughs> she's sneakily eating chips i don't know if the lighting here is better but it's making my forehead look very bright and my hair look very oily but our first order arrived we have fried rice with shredded pork with no spring onion this lighting is not it it's fine this is my mom and i's favorite thing in din tai fung it's the spicy shrimp and pork wonton with dry noodles so exciting yum no onion no spring onion yeah no spring onions rice wonton we're done oh my god we're good let's go My face shield is so foggy, but we are now here at Muji. Okay, let's go. So this is the store. I'll just give you a nice 360. That's where you guys were a while ago. <laughs> we're gonna start with the stationery. And me, being the extra person that I am, I actually made a little like visual checklist of what I need to buy. Okay, we need a glue stick, black eraser, white eraser, a correction tape, some scissors. Wait, do we want the white? ones or the transparent one i think i want the transparent one we also need a cutter oh everything's right next to each other you know what this might be boring for you guys so we're gonna time lapse this Okay, are you guys stable? Okay, the thing you're standing on is kind of wobbly, but I think I'm done. Also, the face shield has been fogging up the entire time, making it very difficult to shop, but I think we are done, so we're just gonna pay. Okay, we are back at where we started, still fogging up a lot, but we got the goods. Now we have to go to National Bookstore, and that's our last stop. Actually, no, we're going to Pinkberry after. Then that's our last stop. Look at how much fog. I like wipe it every 10 seconds because it gets so foggy. I'm gonna go to National Bookstore because, girl, I am like exhausted. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of a, an issue. My mic died on me, so we're gonna have to voice over this whole National Bookstore segment. I, I apologize in advance for this, but side note, my hair looks absolutely great in this whole video. The, the baby hairs really came out to play. Anyways, I honestly didn't know what I was doing in National Bookstore and this is just me talking about how I have no idea what to get here. Then I got distracted by these like twistable crayons and girl, I remember wanting these so bad when I was younger, but my parents never got them for me because I think they were really expensive before. So I was gonna get them, you know, just for sentimental purposes, but girl, the stocks they had, I'm not gonna lie, they were kinda nasty. Something that I notice a little too much when I go to National Bookstore. Oh, but these like connectable markers, I did have in second grade. These were like huge in Australia when I was in elementary school, and my friends and I would like see who could build the longest marker line, like we'd connect all our markers together. Super fun. And then I was gonna buy a Father's Day card, but none of them were super cute. And second side note, I don't know if it's just me, but I honestly think that National Bookstore is falling off a little bit. Like, they're not really a thing anymore. Is it just me? Like, literally no one was here while I was shopping. It was a little sad. But I do love how they have these carts though. Muji should get these for sure. And girl, this is the saddest part about the mic dying. I actually enlisted for my summer class in National Bookstore because I totally forgot that my enlistment time was 1 p.m. that day. So it would have been nice to see me panic in real time 
time, but you know, here I am enlisting. And yeah, I was panicking a little because it was my first time enlisting on an iPhone, but it was a success. We got the class. Well, I'm only taking one class this summer. It's a psych elective class, so enlistment really wasn't that bad. Anyways, enough with this voiceover. Let's do a little shopping. Unboxing time. I have been doing um, a little bit of online shopping from US stores. I actually opened some of them already, like the Amazon ones, because I was excited. Mostly the ones that I already opened are my CeraVe products, so they're all just skincare. Okay, so first, this is the random one. It's from Amazon. It's a Hydro Flask straw lid. However, I do not think this fits in my 42 ounce. I mean 64 ounce hydro flask. From Bath and Body Works, I got two candles which are already there, but I also got the coconut cream pie line. So we have the body wash, the mist, and the lotion. I haven't smelled this yet. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. It, it smells really salty. It smells like a salted caramel, like a really salty salted caramel. Now for the actual makeup. There's one that I'm really excited about. This is from Anastasia. So if you watched my um, what I spent in a month video or how much I spent in a month, I mentioned that I bought the face palette from Anastasia. Ah, oh my God, it's here. It's so hard to open. I got their new face palette in the shade Costa Rica, which is the medium one. Oh my god! Is it even focusing? Girl, are you focusing? Was I out of focus the whole time? Oh. It's so pretty! Oh my god! It's so pretty. So we have bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. Oh my god, it's so cute. She's so cute. I'm obsessed. I've been wanting like a, a nice, good quality face palette, like a blush, bronzer, and highlight. So when they came out with this, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. -da -da. Oh wait, I want to check my sticker. I always get so excited about like which Glossier sticker I get. There's my sticker. Honestly... I don't love it that much, <laughs> but it gives me very like totally spies vibes. This is the last Glossier sticker I got from my order like a month ago. I, th I like this one better than this one. I added a note to myself and it literally just says, to Raya from Raya, you deserve it. <laughs> so I have five products from Glossier. We have the Glossier eyeliner. Ooh, she is sharp. Oh, and then I got the Sky Wash, which is a liquid eyeshadow. Ooh, that is a very pretty, like, brick color. Then we have the Lash Slick. This is actually a repurchase. Ta -da! It's just their mascara, just a classic. Oh, then I got the Brow Flick, which is their liquid brow. So cute. And lastly, I got the Boy Brow. This is like my sixth repurchase of the Boy Brow. I used to be obsessed with it, and I used to get the black one. And then when I started doing feather brows, I kind of like fell out of love with that. So now I just got the clear one. Next, we have... um. ColourPop. So from ColourPop, I bought a ton of face products. I've been trying my best to buy cruelty-free makeup. However, my favorite drugstore foundation and concealer are from Maybelline. And Maybelline, surprisingly, is not cruelty-free. So I'm trying to like find a new favorite drugstore foundation. So first I got the, oh, these are all from their Pretty Fresh line because apparently it's really good. I got the Hyaluronic tinted moisturizer. There it is. Ooh, I love it. It's actually way bigger than I expected. And I got this in the shade medium 11N. Let's check the shade match. That's actually the perfect shade for me. Literally. Oh my god. I'm so good at this. Actually, this is the first time I've gotten a shade right. <laughs> like the 
rare beauty foundation I got is way too orange for me and the last time I bought a foundation from Colourpop it was way too orange for me too because I used to get warm tone foundations because I thought it was warm just because I'm like morena but now i think i've realized that i'm actually neutral tone so this one ooh, i don't think this is a, a good match i got the shade medium 95 n this one looks a little gray to be honest oh honestly not too bad can you even see the foundation like girl she's blending i'm not gonna lie i'm really impressing myself and then i got two concealers i've tried the like original color pop concealer and i was not a fan of it however a lot of beauty youtubers have said that the pretty fresh concealers are really nice girl perfect match too look you can barely even see the foundation i mean the concealer i got this in the shade medium 105 n then i got another one i got a really really bright concealer because i wanted one to prime my eyes with so here she is bright this is in the shade fair 05 i think this is the lightest shade Ooh, <laughs> that's like look at how white that is on me so yeah i'm using this one as a highlight and also to prime my eyes for like eyeshadow lastly from Colourpop I got the lippy pencil in the shade BFF because I've been really into lip liner lately Ooh, I don't know about this one there's the shade can you see it there it's a little too light for my liking but I don't know we'll see because most of the time it looks different when it's actually on next we have um part two of my anastasia order because they for some reason shipped it separately Ooh, i got two products first is the brow freeze which i am the most excited about she's so pretty and then i got a liquid lipstick in the shade bittersweet this is actually a freebie Ooh, that is really dark you see it? There it is. And lastly, I'm so excited. This is my Olivia Rodrigo merch. Girl, I am like a huge Olivia Rodrigo stan. Like I have had her album on repeat since it launched. I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with all her songs. I My favorites are Happier and Traitor. Those two songs I literally belt in the shower and they make me want to cry even though I don't even relate to them. <laughs> That's when you know you're a good songwriter when you make people who don't even relate to your songs cry. And then Good For You. Yeah, Good For You as of now is my favorite single. It's here! Oh my god, I love her. Okay, this is what it looks like there. I love it. I only started this new venture last month, but I want to collect cassette tapes of my favorite albums. I have one for Folklore, and I also ordered the one for Evermore and Fearless, Taylor's version. But yeah, that's gonna be my thing now. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a cassette collector. Anyways, that is it for our haul. I'm really sweaty. Is that Macy? Macy, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, that is it for our haul. Hope you enjoyed.